Well, up next, your international contractor, Street Stocks, and here's the way we line them up on the pole. Dave Blanchard in the 50. James Brennan will be in the 57. Mike Amo in the number 10. Max Bennett in the 28. Alex Abba the 17. Dennis Wilson will be in the 42. Jonathan Henthal in the number 27X. Clayton McCurry in the 74. Chucky Ramsey in the number 19. Gregory Crumb scheduled out in the 35. Brian Teeters in the 44. Ian Robb in the number 23. A couple cars not going to make it out. The 11 of Casey Hall will be a no start. Ian Robb in the 23. Also not going to take the green flag. Bud, going to look him over. Your international contractor, Street Stocks, we're underway. Lance a little wobbly off that start. James Brenner on the outside. Max Bennett in the 28X. He is right there in the thick of things. Alex Abbott on the low side. And that number 17 feel very tight as they work in a turn number four. Side by side for the lead. With the advantage, Mike Amo. Amo will lead lap number one as he clears Blanchard. Here comes Dennis Wilson. Wilson sitting up in that fifth place position. Alex Abbott all over the back end of Dave Blanchard as they work their way across the start finish line. So Mike Amo checking out on the field. He works into turn number four. Amo coming off turn number four with a good five car lane lead across the line. Brenner running second. Max Bennett running in that third place position. Wilson fourth. Fifth will be the. 27X of Jonathan Hedenthal. So Jonathan working his way up in the top five. Leaders working their way across the line. Mike Amo, your leader. Little knows a tell battle between James Brenner at 57. He's getting worked over by 14-year-old Max Bennett. Bennett with the advantage of turn number three. Bennett will take over second. So Max Bennett up to second. Runner back to third. Now he's got new company knocking on the back door. That'll be Dennis Wilson in the 42. Wilson weaving and Bob as he works on that third place machine down the front stretch. Runner in a 57 started outside row number one. He's got Wilson all over him on the turn number two. Wilson got to dump him midway down the back stretch. And Yellow will drop here in lap number six. So ready to get him restarted. International Contractor Street Stocks. Green will drop. Mike Amo will lead him across the start finish line. Amo with a good car late lead in the turn number one. Max Bennett was right on the tail. Your race leader down the back stretch. In the meantime, Brenner, your third place car now drop back at least three spots as Brenner stays up high. Traffic going to work to the inside of Brenner. So Brenner continues to work with an ill-fated machine as traffic blows to the inside of him, including Dennis Wilson. Chucky Ramsey going to make the pass on Brenner. Eight laps in the books. Max Bennett sneaking up on that number 10 machine of Mike Amo. Max, oh, look at this. Max Bennett on the bumper, your race leader. Blanchard, your pole sitter, going to retire the 50. So Max Bennett continues to work on your lead on Mike Amo. Bennett working on Amo. Their nose and tail as they dive into turn number three. Bennett staying right in the tire tracks of your race leader. They'll work off turn number four across the line. They come. Bennett stays right on the bumper, your leader in the turn number one. Running third is Jonathan Hedendahl. Jonathan with a good run in the 27X. Jonathan, nobody around to contend with him as he works his way across the line. Running fourth, the 17 machine of Alex Habit. Alex running in clear space too. Nobody around to challenge Alex. Ryan Teeters in the 44, coming all the way in from row number six. Teeters in the top five in the 44 machine. So halfway side up, 12 laps in the books. Her one and only leader, Mike Amo, started inside row number two. Took up one full lap, and he jumped out to the top spot. Boy, he is being hounded by Max Bennett. Bennett going to try to get a run to the inside.
inside. Backs out of it, gets right back in line, stays on the bumper of Mike Amo. Well, Max Bennett getting some seat time here in your international contractor street stocks. Max will try another approach now as he looks to the outside. He's hooked up there side by side. Bennett with the advantage as he gets ready to exit up turn number two. Bennett still with the advantage going into turn number three. Bennett staying in the high side. Amo stays down on the apron. Yellow drops. And your leaders will die to disaster right there. Off a of turn number four. So young Max Bennett working on Mike Amo. Green flag is out. We're back underway as your leaders come down the front stretch. Max Bennett a little wobbly there on that restart. Mike Amo with a good two car lane lead down the back stretch. So Mike Amo continues to be your race leader. He'll look up, he'll see 10 to go this time by. 10 laps to go for Mike Amo. So 10 laps to go as race leader Mike Amo working at turn number four. Got about a car lane lead over Max Bennett as they work across the start finish line. And the running third, get in trouble off of turn number four. Yellow gonna drop for the second time. This will be Brenner. Brenner getting away out of that trouble. 16 laps of the books, ready to go back to work. Mike Amo, your one and only leader. Green is out. International Contractor Street Stocks underway. Amo going to carry a good two-car late lead into turn number one. Max Bennett will tighten up. About one car late down the back stretch. Good run for that number 27X, Jonathan Hedenthal. Jonathan started outside row number three and has stayed up in that third spot this entire race. Alex Abbott, fourth, fifth. It'll be Dieters. Dennis Wilson, what a season Dennis has had. He's finishing second in the point standings. After being penalized for dumping the 57 earlier on, Wilson has put himself back up into the sixth place position. 17 left, 18 laps now recorded. Mike Amo, your leader, down the back stretch with about a car late lead over Max Bennett. And then holding on the second as they work across the start finish line. We'll see if Max can get something hooked up to the outside. He picks up the outside group between turns one and two. Gets right back in line. Stays on the bumper of Amo as they work in turn number one. Now Bennett goes up to the high side. Amo going to stay down in the middle of the track as they work their way across the line. Five laps to go. Mike Amo gets a bump from Max Bennett. They're going to go side by side with Bennett to the low side. They'll go dead even to turn number three. Bennett with the advantage off turn number four. New leader Max Bennett here in lap 21. So Max Bennett looking for his first win. Works down the backstretch with a good car late lead as they put the short track move on your race leader. Bennett across the line. Amo second, Hedenthal running third, Abbott fourth, fifth it'll be Brian Teeters. Max Bennett open it up now here with the two slap sign to go, two to go for Max Bennett. Bennett across the line with a good five car late lead. Two to go, two to go. So Max Bennett down the back stretch. Mike Amo led the first 21 laps, sitting back in second. White flag drops for Max Bennett. Mike Amo holding on to that second place position as they work down the back stretch. Max Bennett can open it up now. Bennett headed to turn number four. Your international contractor, Street Stock winner, first time winner, Max Bennett. Amo second, headed all third. So as Max continues to get the gear off, as he gets out of the car, please give him a big round of applause. 14-year-old Max Bennett. Max, great job. I got to tell you, let's go through this race. You little, put a little bump there on Mike Amo. Does that come from the world of go-karts as you got started in go-karts? It looked like a little go-kart move there. Yeah, I raced dirt. When I started out in go-karts, I raced dirt. And I just gave him a little bump, got him loose. 
How does it feel after a little bit of a turnaround in the trucks? You had problem with the truck. You come off a good season in the trucks, problems in the trucks. What a way to turn the night out. you got to be uh, pretty happy with a big smile now. Yeah, it feels good. My first one at Soto, but I'd like to thank Wayne and Dale Lewis, my dad, and Rob and Ira, and my whole family who came to watch me. Well, good job tonight. Way to go. Pick it up a win tonight. Give him a big round of applause. 14-year-old Max Bennett. Mike Amo coming on that second place position. Not a bad run, Mike. You led the first 21 laps. The youngster just kind of took you by surprise, took you loose, but uh, good job finishing second. Yeah, he put it on me, man. He did a great job. He's, he's got some skills there. Um, I want to thank John Howard for being with me all year on this car and sticking with it and keeping it together. And it uh, feels good to finally get up here and run in the top three, you know. I've been trying all year. And hell yeah, it feels good. Great. All right, Mike Amo, for thank Jonathan. I also, also want to thank Rich from Circle Track Stuff and Bodie's uh, Racing Engines also. Jonathan, got to be happy coming home third. Not a bad run tonight. Yeah, I can't complain. It's a lot of fun, a lot of fun out there. Uh, I want to thank my wife and my kids for putting up with me all the time with this, and uh, thanks for all the fans for coming. All right, good run. Please give them a big round of applause, your international contractor, Street Stocks. Hey, I, I, I know everybody came here for one thing. I, I know everybody came here for one thing, more turkey, right? <laughs> oh, you had enough turkey yesterday? Well, I just want to say uh, a couple of words, everybody. I want to thank everybody for coming out this year, supporting DeSoto Super Speedway. You're the best fans in the state. We worked real hard this year. This is our last race of the year. We will have the Florida 400 next week and the truck pull the 15th. But again, you people need a big round of applause for yourself. You did a great job this year. Starting on the pole, the number 25 will be Mark Jackson, the 05, the stick man, Mike Gamash. The one up is Greg Roberts, the eight up, Robert Kuhn. The 76 is Jimmy Bolt, the 11X is Billy Colbert Jr. And the 21 is Chris Dodson, the 57X will be Bud Howe. The double zero will be Brian Hain. In the 4Q, it's Brian Conrad. In the 14, it's Wayne Calkins. In the four, it's Ernest Helfrich. The 06 is Bill Colbert, senior in the 11, Richard Bartolo. Headed for the line in turn number four. Donald, green flag in hand, we're underway. School bus figure eight racing. Right away, they're gonna try and go three wide. The number 25 bus of Mark Jackson looks like he's a little under power. The eight up of Robert Toon moving on the inside, the 05. Mike Gamash in that brand new bus now. He'll lead the field out of turn number one and down towards the intersection. Cooney in the second bus, the 25 of Jackson, the 11 X machine. And already going two wide down in the X, three wide down in the intersection. Gamash coming down, he is your leader. Then it'll be the one-up machine of Greg Roberts moving up into third as Cooney trying to track down the 05 of Mike Gamash. The 11X bus of Billy Colbert Jr. now making a run on the outside of the 25, but here comes the 76, a vote close at the intersection. This one's gonna start getting ugly fast. Field really starting to string out now. Here comes the 05 of Gamash. Two buses headed down towards the X. Here we go. And Cody will take advantage of the 05 of Gamash on the binders. He'll take over the top spot. Robert Coon, longtime school bus racer here. Looking for his first ever win in school bus figure eight racing. Down towards the intersection we go, Robert Coon. Here we go, down at the exit! Whoa! Black Flag Bud making it exciting now as he's on the tail end of the field nursing that smoking bus. 05 of Mike Gamash, oh! Right at the X, Ernest Helfrick in the number four. Looks like problems with that bus. He'll take it down and out of the X. Got to run for the lead now. Oh! Problems on the 57 X of Bud. Now it's the 05 of Gamash. Looking for that top spot. Field really starting to string out now. Here we go. Battle for the top spot. Gonna be close down at the X. Here we go. Whoa! 
side by side racing for the top spot. Now they'll come out of turn number one. Second half of the field headed towards the X. Here comes your leaders. Here we go. Down at the X. Got a right front tire down on the 21. Lots of heavy duty racing going on out there now as the old vibe of Mike Gamash makes the move on the inside of Robert Coon. Gamash can't see that bus coming towards the X. And looks like the 25 going to get a push off from the double zero, Brian Hayne. School buses spread all over the racetrack. The EO6 bus stalled in the infield. Bud still creeping along in the 57X. 21 bus over in turn number one, pulls it off the speedway. Five laps in the books, 20 laps left to go. And tonight's school bus figure eight racing, getting close down there at the X again. Looks like Bud's gonna stall over there in turn number three. They split him over in three. Mike Gamash in the 05 bus is your leader. Then it's the eight of Robert Coon, the number one of Greg Roberts. Oh, close in the X. Jimmy Volk in the 76, the 11X is Conbert, Conkins in the 14X, and the 4Q of Conrad. All leaders now looking around the 05. Uh oh here we go. And they found the brake paddle on that one. Art Conkins, the number 11 bus, tonight being piloted by Richard Bartolo. Mike Gamash really got that 05 buffs hooked up and moving out. Here we go. Coming down to the X. Everybody on the pedal. Woo! Hey, another close one at the X. Conrad in that 4Q bus really laying the pedal to the wood. Now here comes Gamash. Conrad coming down. Here we go. Down at the X. Brian Conrad doesn't know when to say no as he's got the pedal to the metal. Here we go, Gamash, your leader. Conrad coming down right here at the X. School bus figure eight racing at its finest here at DeSoto Super Speedway. Don't forget New Year's Eve, crash and bash. One more time, come out and celebrate New Year's Eve right here with us at DeSoto Super Speedway. They'll cross the stripe, 10 laps in the books, this time by. All right, field starting to string out. Oh, oh. Bud just trying to keep that 57 bus running. As the 05 of Gamash starting to pull away from the 8 of Robert Coon. 11X bus starting to show some smoke on that machine. Here comes Cooney down at the X, they go. Brian Hain in the double zero. He's going to slow it down. Here, close one at the X again. Mike Gamash coming up on these lap buses now. That'll allow the number eight of Cooney to close in on your leader. Robert Coon in the eight bus now, closing in on the 05 of Gamash. Gamash got clear traffic in front of him, but here we go, down at the X. Donald shows them the halfway sign now as they come out of turn number four. Mike Gamash is your leader. Robert Coon in the eight bus is second. Close at the intersection again. And the 57 of Bud Howe. Smoke really starting to pull out of that, pour out of that bus. Stalled at the intersection. Brian Conrad coming down. Here comes Robert Coon. So two buses stalled at the intersection, kind of blocking what's coming out of turn number four. Oh. 
Mike Gamash and that brand new O5 buzzer. He's your leader. Really got that thing hooked up. Here comes Conrad heading towards the intersection. Robert Coon coming down. Hey, almost going sideways. Wayne Calkins in the 14X now, getting around the 76 of James Bolt. Once again, Conrad coming down. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Robert King and Robert Conrad getting close at that intersection one more time. Brian Conrad in the 4Q. Gamash has got... And caution flag comes out. Got some fire coming out of the 57X of Bud Howe. Gamash leads the field out of turn number four. The green flag waves. We're back underway. Robert Coon in the eight bus, staying right on the back bumper of the 05 of Gamash. But Gamash with the horsepower coming out of turn number two. Already starting to get some separation in the field now as the 11 of Colbert goes up high close to that turn two wall. Down towards the intersection they go. The 05 of Gamash, the eight of Coon and the one of Roberts. 4Q of Conrad, a double zero. Brian Hayden bringing up the tail end of the field. Down at the intersection they go. Brian Haynes slow with a double zero now. He'll get on the gas, get through the X. All right, this field really starting to spread out now. Here comes your leader. Down the intersection we go. 10 laps left to go. Coming up on nine laps. And so far, it's all the 05 of Mike Gamash. But he's got to deal with the 4Q of Conrad. Here we go. Down the intersection. Robert Coon in the eight bus now, closing in to within a half a bus length of the 05 of Gamash. Tight racing up front for that lead. The one of Roberts in third, but he's got the 14 of Calkins right on his back bumper. Calkins in that 14. Now Coon up against the turn three wall. Robert Coon bouncing that number eight bus off the turn three wall. We got contact. Right front tire going out on the one of Roberts. Pieces of bus flying all over the place. We got contact between the 11 X of Colbert and the one of Roberts. Roberts gets his bus out of the way. The 11 of Colbert rejoined the field, but he'll be back there towards the back now as our leaders are barreling down towards the intersection. Here we go, down at the X. Whoa! Another close one with Conkins in the 11 of Bartolo. Mike Gamash keeping the pedal to the middle now. He's got to stay in front of the eight of Robert Coon. Close one at the X. Brian Conrad. Mike Gamash headed towards the intersection. Oh, close one again. Wayne Calkins, a longtime figure eight racer now, trying to close in. He's up to the third position. Down at the intersection is Conrad and Gamash one more time. Billy Colbert staying up there in the 11X now. As we'll get the five to go sign, five more laps for Mike Gamash, Robert Coon, and Wayne Calkins. And here we go! Gamash out of turn one, Conrad out of turn number four. Billy Colbert, here we go. A couple of buses headed towards the intersection. Oh, Lordy, next time by is going to be a close one. Let's 
76 of Bolt diving down on the inside of the double zero Hain. Here we go down the intersection. Conrad just trying to hang on in that 4Q bus. And Hain going to look like a cultural racing. Another close one for Brian Hain at the intersection. Mike Gamash in the 05 continues to lead, but he's got Cooney Gump on his back bumper as they're coming up on lap traffic. Donald Schoen double sticks, two laps left to go. And for the first time tonight, Brian Conrad uses the brakes on the 4Q bus. Gamash navigating his way through lap traffic. Now he'll take the low line. Brian Hayne right there up high. And it looks like the 4Q of Conrad might have some problems as he's really slow over in turn number four. White flag comes out for Mike Gamash. One more time through the intersection for the 05 of Mike Gamash now as he navigates on the inside of the 4Q of Conrad. At a turn number one, down towards the intersection he goes. Robert Kuhn trying to get everything he can out of that number eight bus. He's got the 4Q of Conrad in between him. Oh, wow! All right? Heavy, heavy contact. Richard Bartolo. Richard Bartolo in the 11 bus, oh. slamming into the 06, but your winner in tonight's school bus figure eight race, Mike Gamash, Robert Coon, and Wayne Calkins. Ladies and gentlemen, finished second tonight in tonight's 25 lap school bus figure eight race. Let's hear it for Robert Coon in the eight up. Great job out there tonight, brother, man. You've been at this a long time. Battled for the lead early, but you had definitely had a good bus tonight. Oh, we're going to start making a habit of this. Uh, I forgot a few people last time. I'd like to thank, again, Brian Teeters. I forgot Darren Ellis, Richard Mark Collett, Gulf Auto, Par Gulf Auto Parts, uh, my wife, Lori, uh, Greg here. You know, we work on these things every day of the week. I mean... It finally paid off. All right, congratulations, brother. Robert Kuhn, your second place finisher. And tonight's winner in the 25 lap school bus figure eight feature. Let's hear it for Mike, the stick man, Gamash. All right. Mikey, brand new bus, good looking bus out there. Man, this was on a rail tonight. Well, this, this is well deserved after a pretty crummy light night last night out in Orlando. Uh, Jay, my buddy Jay Sikora, I built the bus for him. He, he was nice enough to say, ah, why don't you just run it tonight and uh, see what you can do with it and break it in. Well, we broke it in, all right. <laughs> uh, got to thank, um, no, just got to thank Jay, um, Cindy, for coming along and supporting. And uh, my daughter Amy's here tonight. And uh, Tropical Tile, that's about it. All right, congratulations. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Gamash. I'm Rick Angies along with Tony Monica and the staff and crew here at DeSoto Super Speedway. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight. Hope you had a great time. Please be patient going home with parking lots kind of full. Drive home safely next Saturday night from Florida 400 here.